Okay, top 10 pasta characters slash monsters that I personally do not like. And just because I they're in this list does not mean I did not like the story. It's just that like there's something about them that I don't like in a certain way. I'm a very picky person, so let's dive right into it. Number 10, Jack the Ripper. Now he is the person who got me started on creepypasta, so I'm far from hating him. It's just he got famous for the wrong reasons. He killed five people in London, and yeah, he got big over that. Like there, there's serial killers that killed almost a hundred people, and like they don't get nearly as credible. <laughs> I'm so bad. It's true though. Like, it should be ranked based on how many people. This dude did five. We mutilated them, but he only did five. So, number nine, Ichbar Bigstein. This guy's a sock. Do you get that? This guy is a sock. He's a sock that eats teeth. It's not scary. That's just weird. No. I, <laughs> I never took the story seriously. Have I narrated it? Yes, I have. Because is it a good premise all around? I guess. Can never get over for the fact that a freaking sock. Really? A sock? Couldn't have done, like, I don't know, a teddy bear or something. I guess that's a little bit more acceptable but no, a damn sock, like a blanket, maybe. <laughs> Number eight is Happy Happy, and this, I used to freaking love this story. The first two parts were really good. Third part, where he was, where the story was all like, oh, he's at my door? <laughs> Why? Why did you kill it? Like, you, that was just stupid. I mean, I loved the foretelling of the 9-11 thing, um, like, in, in the most serious manner possible. It was a good, it's a good fill-in for, like, them to say this was in 1999 and they predicted 9-11. Not offending any people who might have been affected by 9-11, I'm... But... Number seven, the theater game. Okay, this is a fucked up game that was glitchy and crashed a lot, and so some weird AI dude had some seizures or something and was always there and it was scary for some reason. No, like... If I played a crappy game and it was glitchy and then this weird sprite that didn't move started following me, I would just think the game is stupid and I would close it. I would not react in a sense of this is freaking scary and haunted and his arms were flapping around like a retarded magic harp. Like, no, it's not, it's not messed up. It's like when I view it in my head, kind of like, you know, if I played Sonic.exe, I'd just be like, the fuck? And like, just close it if I could. And that would be it. Like, I wouldn't, whatever. No, number six is Hypno's Lullaby. Some of you might argue that, you know, otherwise it's, a, it's an amazingly good you know, lullaby, and you guys might also argue that I've actually done it, or had it in my first Boca Pasta Marathon, but this is what I have a problem with it. There are pedophiles daily, like, uh, just like in my town, there's registered pedophiles, okay? So, to, to make a big fuss over a Pokemon description over a fictional character is messed up, considering they're surrounding us anyway. Why, why are you, why are you freaked out? You, if you have kids, like, they're at risk. Like, you, you have to accept that. So, I mean, Hypno's Lullaby, that's why I didn't scare me. I'm just like, well, duh. Pokemon are doing it too? Okay. <laughs> Now, number five is Herobrine. I just don't like the story in general. Like, I believe that Minecraft has the capability to pump out a really good pasta. I just don't believe Herobrine is it. I mean, he's not even that, like, what does he do? He trolls your world? Like, wh wow, dude. How is that scary? Oh, it's it's Notch's brother as a spirit? He has nothing better to do than to join your Minecraft world <laughs> and just mess up what you've done? Yeah, that makes no sense. Like, I, if I was a ghost, though, I, I, could, I could totally see it. Like, I would do that. I would be the Herobrine. Uh, that's the point. It's not scary. Like, if anything, it's just some person messing with someone else. Number four, the Boonchian Dang, the Boot, the Boochi, the Bot, the Boochi Dang. Okay, so the, I'm not even saying it again. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but this thing scared the hell out of me. But here's the problem it's typical Japan, American setup. You gotta do something pretty damn stupid. Japanese setup, you could be taking a shit, something could grab you, never be seen again. Like, that's Japan, like, leaving you vulnerable. And while this was a really good story and scared the, you know, shit out of me, to say the least, it, it, it was too similar to what I've heard before. Now, I don't know what was there first, but um, I, I want Japan to produce something that's not Japan. Boom. Number three, Freaky Fred. This dude is freaking freaky, don't get me wrong, but his poem didn't scare me. He was, he was clearly just a regular mentally disturbed guy based off the story. I'm not saying a mentally disturbed guy wrote it. I'm just saying that it's, it's kind of what it is. Does he look like a freak? Yes. He also could look like me on a Monday morning, but I mean, it's he, like stuff like that just doesn't get to me. Freaky Fred, you're freaky, but you know, go be freaky somewhere else because I'm not entertained with you. Number two, any creepypasta that has Mario is a bad guy. Now, I'm sorry if you like that weird Mario ROM or if you like uh, that damned Nintendo 64, like Mario 64 creepypasta, which that one was good. That was well written and online errands, but I can't seem to get over that people are scared of a fat Italian that can jump high. Like, sulk over that for a second. Fat Italian that can jump high. You're scared of a fat Italian that can jump high. Okay, let's add some black to his eyes. He's still a fat Italian with black eyes jumping pretty damn high. Like, that's... 
That's all there is to it. And number one is uh, Teddy. You know, the Creepypasta Teddy, it, Mr. Creepypasta narrated a while ago, and I was like, eh, it was average, but uh, it's, it's too Chucky-like. Like, it's a freaking doll, okay? Like, it explains in the story how he finally got over it, and then he was, like, in college or something like that, and it was there again, and, like, ugh. That's just stupid. It's a freaking doll. It's a doll. It's a doll, okay? Anyways, it's a bear. Like, it's a stuffed bear. Like, I could see the scary aspects of it, and I've taken those into consideration. Why the person in the story is not considered burning it or just contacting someone of religious significance, because if you got, like, a walking doll, pretty sure you're gonna believe in something pretty quickly, because that defies atheism to, like, the next level, okay? So... Thank you for watching. If you've commented on what a top 10 list would want to be and I haven't done it yet, your cries have not been unheard. I'm, I'm getting to it. Okay. Um, but leave down below what I should do next. And uh, yeah. Oh, persona. Like I'm, my personas are coming together. You guys have sent me some really good stories uh, that, that could be possibly about me. Submissions are have been due for a little bit now, but well, five days. You're five days late if you try to send me a story, but it, it's really, it's coming together really nice. I think you're gonna love my backstories. You're gonna get, you guys are gonna have to pick one. Oh my god, it's just gonna be a great experience. You guys get to decide what uh, my backstory will be. Do you agree with me? Now, here's the thing with my list. Like, if I made a top list for every bad creepy pasta, like that, like it would be like a top hundred because there's so many bad compared to the good. So I, I kind of had to, I had to think about it and weigh out my options. So. How was your day? I just woke up. I am recording this in the morning. <sighs> yep. If I got some annotations up, you should just do that. I mean, like, you, I'm, a, I'm not pressuring you. I am. Click on something. Like, just go for one of those annotations for me. If you've seen the videos that are up there, because you're awesome, you could just do it again. I mean, I'm not. I'm pressuring you. I'm not. I'm pressuring you. Do it. Well, uh, have a good day.